Good morrow. It's not the morning. What time is it? It's 2.20. About to head in for Botox and this is so flattering. Um, for Botox and lips, I think, I hope. Um, I got a lot of my top lip dissolved last time. You guys are going to be able to see it. And there's like, I think like there's a tiny bit of migration there. Maybe she can dissolve it. But Botox, I don't know. She didn't do very much on me last time. Do you remember how... We were, she was like telling us how much she did on you and on me and I was like, what the heck, yeah. I need, I don't want more. Um, and mine didn't last, so I'm hoping to get a better amount this time and maybe we'll see if it lasts. And then, um, yeah, I got a little bit dissolved last time, but I haven't done anything to my top lip in a really, really long time. So I'm hoping she can give me a little plump, but we'll see, we're gonna take you guys with us and vlog it. Well, Audrey's gonna vlog it because I can't like video myself getting needles pricked in me. I'll be yeah. Yeah, so I'll ask, I'll ask some questions. Yeah, and we'll record Iris, like, ex saying what you're getting. People always ask, like, what kind, and I don't ever know the answer. I think yeah. she does different stuff. Like, I don't think she always does the same oh. kind. Okay, let's go. Hope I don't bruise too bad. You bruised really bad last time. I know. But it's because I took you Advil, used a right? serum. Oh, you didn't know that it had retinol in it. have the midnight serum that you had been using. I think I've been doing. And you bruised so bad. I think I have been using the blue one that we looked at today. No, that has retinol in it. That one has vitamin E. I don't know if that has retinol, so I don't know about vitamin E. I feel like it makes your blood thinner, but I don't know 100%. So that would just be me talking out my ass. No, you always know about these things. Audrey's like Maybe literally I read an encyclopedia, Google, at one point. Google I reference. Know. like. We can always be like, oh, like I don't know about this. And Audrey's like, well, actually, if you do this like two hours, we're like, how do you know that? She just like knows so many random things. So mm -hmm. if you're ever on Jeopardy and That's you need to phone anxiety a friend, and feeling like you need to research everything, you do research everything. Um, my phone a friend will always be Audrey. Here so, with Iris, the beautiful Hi. Iris, my <laughs> angel, <laughs> the best. <laughs> For that motion, baby. <laughs> she has a lot of emotion. We didn't do very much Botox last time either, I remember. Why were we conservative that day? I don't know. I think you're always conservative on my Botox. This it's is true. Oh, I know why, because we were trying to go for the maximum lift. And when we relax that muscle, it kind of impairs that ability to go up yeah. and down. Is that the same if you do it out? So I just won't do any Botox. Right there. Yeah, which I feel like is not really where I need it. It's like right. here. We'll do it here to lift. Here. We'll do it there to lift. Yeah. And then relax the center. Yeah. Alright, so I'm going to add a little bit of sterile water here so I can thin out the filler. She just does not need a lot of volume. If I thin it out, it'll be more gentle. And less noticeable and of course we want to look our best but we don't want our filler to look like crazy ass filler right yeah what type of botox are you using is it just actual botox yeah i don't need it to focus botox actual like botox nice mm -hmm. yeah there's five brands now and okay this is our filler what's the filler Brustalin. Brustalin. Well, we thin her down. We very nice this. That's for the face, but we're not feeling, we're not going to thin down the lip, I'm assuming. Exactly. Oh, yeah. We grab that. Nice. Behind the scenes of filming. Yeah. <laughs> While she's <Yeah>. filming. <laughs> for Botox, we're using, like, just the Botox brand. And mm -hmm. then for, we're going to do a little under eye, and we're using this, but she's thinning it down. We're using the same thing for lips. We're going to use this because it is naturally thin, and we don't want to move Okay, so this is what we're using for lips. Nice. And so that's for the eyebrow. A little lift. But lifting mm -hmm. it a little bit differently than she did. It's giving a little last time. Bella Hadid moment. That's right. <laughs> that's actually like surgery that she did, right? I'm proud of that. I'm sure you can get at least. Um, that vibe when you place it differently, but I think to really get it crazy like that, it's like, uh -huh. that would be crazy surgery. Yeah, I mean, people make it look like 
uh, threads will do it. It's, that's not what threads do. They build collagen. It's just an immediate response from getting the threads. It, it looks like that one. How's it feel? Like you're getting your back to me, Better than your lips, I'll tell you why. Yeah, <laughs> ain't that the truth? When people ask, do your lips hurt? It's like, yeah. Doesn't feel good. <laughs> no, I remember getting it for the first time. Bumps. I was like, holy shit. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Nobody talks about it, like right. really hurting that bad. It's like, I feel like they like gaslight you. <laughs> yeah. You know, and then you're like, no, this is so fucking painful. <laughs> like, can you just be honest? Right. Is that it for Botox? I'm gonna just do a vlogging at the same time. I'll show what you do on my ankle. Well, Audrey, uh, Audrey literally does this with my ankle. Help distract me. <laughs> I don't wanna know. If you play me, keep it on the low. That's different than what you usually do. Whatever you are moving with, right? Uh, it is. Should, sorry. You notice. I should it. I find this burns less, yeah? Mm -hmm. Way less. Okay, good. I also feel like I know like three people in my existence that don't do buttons. Yeah. My mom is one of them, but like so common now just whether or not people share it so how many units have you done or are you gonna do uh her botox is done and i did 37 37 units what's your favorite thing about your face audrey and then what's your like biggest insecurity i don't know i've never thought about that um i'm thinking about it since you're on the side of my face that i don't like Biggest insecurity, probably my double chin. <laughs> Do not have a double chin. And then I just don't have like a defined jawline or whatever. So anytime I gain weight, you can like see it very easily, like from the sides or the front. So like really affects my face shape. Um, favorite feature, probably my eyes. You have great eyes. I'm always looking surprised. Eyes. I don't know my favorite thing. Maybe my eyebrows. Yeah. Mm. Or like so good. My smile and my least favorite thing is. I like your profile. My nose. I like this side of my face. The whole side. Like the whole side. <laughs> Jawline is pretty awful. Yeah. Thank you. Are we doing filler now? Okay, one sec. I want to get this one. God bless. Let me record this. Okay. This side first? And just tell me to move oh. whenever you need me to move. You're good, you're good, yeah. I'm gonna do a little under eye filler. This is such a creepy feeling. It really is. It's like the crunching. It's the literal crunching. You can do it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Is that from what is that from? Hot Girls or What's... is it from Waterboy? Or I mean I think he's in both. What's so I don't know. Your face and then your hmm. The face. Hmm. My biggest insecurity is this weird muscle thing that happens with my cheeks when I smile. And there's nothing you can do about it. Isn't it kind of crazy how we all think of like our the insecurity one first? Yeah. Where we're like, here's our yeah. yes. and like, hmm, what Yes. What do I like? I like, isn't that a weird? <laughs> and what's your favorite? Let's see. I like my lips. Supermodel looks. <laughs> Like we always say, we're like, Iris just looks like a freaking supermodel. Literally. <laughs> Especially like my lips today because I got all dolled up for you. You look great. You look great. Cool. Yeah. Yeah. It's 
funny how things like evolve too when you get older. Like I used to hate my jaw and chin because it's like so pointy. When I was little, I used to hate it. Yeah. But I think that's like one of the cool things about being able to do things like filler and stuff is it almost like balances your face. Like I feel like the lips balance out the structure here where it, and like make my nose feel a little bit smaller, make this a little bit less harsh. Like even though the only thing that you're doing is this, right. it kind of like if you're good at it, it balances everything. out it out, right? Yeah. Totally. It's crazy how we all have things. And sometimes the things that other people look at on you and they're like, oh that's my favorite thing. It's like your own least favorite. It's just interesting. Mm -hmm. Yeah. When people tell you you're crazy. Why does that bother you? Well, it's just funny because no one else like thinks about you as much as you do. Right. I remember, remember when we were in um, the jewelry store that time, Audrey, and I like, <laughs> had my lips done. This was like two and a half years ago. And I had my lips done, and I was like really insecure about the fact that I had like some bruises on, bruising on there. And I like walked in, and I was about, about to like disclaimer to the girl, like, oh, don't look at my lips. And the girl was like, oh, I'm breaking out. Like, don't look at my forehead. And I'm like, she didn't even think about me. She's thinking yeah. about herself, and I'm thinking about myself. It's just like human yeah. nature, but it's like everyone's really just fine. I want to try to make like less excuses this year. Because I feel like I always go on and feel like I have to be a certain way. And I'm always like, oh, like, don't pay attention to my breakout. And it's like, who fucking yeah. cares? Like, yeah. I don't even need to talk about it. Yeah. Who cares? Yeah, no apologies. You know, it is what it is. Again, I think easier said than done. Yeah. But like hypothetically, that's a, I mean, that's a goal for me is to give less disclaimers. Like, I didn't get ready today. It's like, I don't need to say that. Like, obviously I didn't get ready. Like, right? <laughs> you know yeah. what I mean? I think it's just like a habit. It's mm -hmm. like anything in life. I think there's something sexy about the whole like, take it or leave it. Oh, mm -hmm. you know? I agree. Yeah, I totally agree. What is like, is there anything you can do product wise? Like, should your eye cream have a retinol in it? Or anything like what can you do for the under eyes? I feel like they just always look. Yes, you're, you're, there are eye creams that have like a gentle retinol in them, and then there are eye creams that have sunscreen in them. And those are the two best things. I mean, in my opinion, for your skin, period, like a retinoid or retinol and sunscreen. Take it through. I sing the lips. That's good. This whole side of my face is struggling so bad right now. <laughs> it's like really bad. Yeah, I need some serious hand there. help. It's worth it. Mm -hmm. Ow. Go ahead. Mm -hmm. My eyes watering. Mm -hmm. Like a single tear. I'm gonna turn some music on and have to sacrifice the rest of the TikTok. Mm -hmm. mm. How much uh, do you think you're gonna put in her lips? Uh, half syringe of the most. Nice. It's exciting. We haven't done anything more than like 0.1 or 0.2 in like a really, really, really long time. And that was just like the bottom. Literally. Yeah, we might not do a whole half a syringe. Who is maintaining these beauties? Mmm. Mm. Mm. Deep breath. Let me
How do you get like those sharp borders? Doing what we're doing now and just putting a little tiny bit of filler since the, the, the entry port is right on the horizon border or going parallel with the border. I'm pinching this is a new technique here. Cute. This is a really fun thing to film. I want to go on record to say this is for you guys. <laughs> Motherfucker, oh. that one hurt. Hold on, I think just a smidge here. Or what do you think? This side or that side? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Agree. Um, yeah, I agree. Okay, so maybe we can, <laughs> I'm dead, <laughs> maybe we can run down how much you did just in sure. general that way yeah, we know. Absolutely. So Botox? We did a total of 37 units. Um, we did a brow raise. We put a little in the middle to help relax that muscle. We relaxed the forehead. Raise your brows for them. These little guys right here. Is that already better? It is. Look at that. How did that do? <laughs> Doesn't it usually take like a week? <laughs> wow. Um, which is more, that's more than we normally do. You it usually is. are like really conservative mm -hmm. up here, but mm -hmm. I feel like it was wearing off. Everything we did today was like more than we normally do, but yeah. it's been like a very long time since we've done anything. It's still like pretty conservative. Yeah. yeah. It is. I feel yeah. like I, I get like 60 units. Right. Yes, you of Botox? <laughs> of Botox <laughs> and then like a full syringe of lips. Mm -hmm. So, okay, so under eyes. Under eyes, we also did a little, we did literally 0.25 of a unit right underneath the eyes smile for me real big yep just a little wrinkling right here and then we did um restylane which was diluted one to one as filler under the eye to help with those dark circles dark mouth, darkness now we did get a black eye so that's going to show up tomorrow morning so yeah and we did almost a half syringe in your lips we did 0.45 mil 0.45 mil of refine we usually do 0.1 to 0.2 to the lips. Just as maintenance. And that's it. Yeah, that's it. Thank you. Aww, you're, you're so you. welcome. Appreciate Love you. you. You're next. <laughs>